Hello everyone, welcome back to Pably Connect. So in today's video, we will learn how to send Discord channel message for Shopify order. So now let's say that you are using Shopify as an e-commerce platform and whenever a new order is placed in your Shopify store, then with the same order details, you want to update your team in Discord by sending a channel message. So now how we will be doing this? For this, we need to set up an integration between these two applications. For that, we will be using Pably Connect, where a trigger application will be Shopify and our action application will be Discord. So to learn how we set up this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn how you can send new Shopify orders as channel messages in Discord. So here, every time, whenever a new order is placed in your Shopify store, then automatically you want to send a channel message to your team in Discord. So to integrate and automate this entire process, let us sign into our Pably Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I will click on sign in. This is the all applications page where Pably Connect so we will go to Pably Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard. So to create a new workflow, we need to go to this create workflow button on our right hand side. And now in this dialog box appearing, we need to give our workflow a name. And I have named it as send new Shopify orders as channel messages in Discord. So now I will click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically trigger and action are those two concepts on which this entire automation and integration will depend. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So basically action is the response of your trigger application. So moving to our use case that is to send new Shopify orders as channel messages in Discord. So going to my trigger window over here in trigger application, I will be searching for Shopify and here it is. I will select it. So now as I've selected my trigger application, moving to the trigger event, that will be new order placed. That means this trigger will start working whenever a new order will be placed in my Shopify store. So I'm selecting it. So as I did that, now you can see a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So now what we need to do is this webhook URL will help us to connect our Shopify account with Pably Connect. So for that, I will take you to my Shopify account and over here we will go to settings and now in settings we will go to notifications and under notifications you will find webhooks. So these are some existing webhooks that were created before but to create a new webhook you need to click on this create webhook button. So now as I did that, in this add webhook over here, I need to give it an event, format, URL and the webhook API version. So as I will click on event and over here, I will be searching for order creation. So here it is and now moving on to the format. So as you can see in Pably Connect over here, it is specified that you need to select the event type orders or create for the format that is JSON. So over here. I will take you back to my Shopify account and the format will be remaining as JSON only. Moving on to the URL part. So we will simply copy this from Pably Connect and now we will just paste it over here. And the webhook API version will be the latest one. So now as I have filled in all these details, I will click on save. And you can see that the webhook is saved successfully. That means our webhook is created. So I will just close this. So now it is waiting for webhook response. That means now whenever a new order will be placed in my Shopify store, then automatically the details of that order will be captured over here by Pably Connect. And now I will take you to my Shopify store. Here it is. And over here under catalog, these are the products which I have in my Shopify store. So over here, I want to place an order for this herbal mask. So I'm selecting this product. And now I will instantly buy it now. So over here, now it is asking me the contact and the billing address details for a smooth checkout. So you can see that our product name is Herbal Mask, the price is 100 and the quantity is 1. So moving on to these details, I will just fill in. So now over here, you can see that I have filled in the dummy details. The email goes as admin11 at the The first name is admin, the last name is user, country is India, along with our dummy address details and a dummy phone number. So now I will click on this continue to payment option to proceed for the payment. And over here, you can see that the contact details and the billing details are successfully mentioned over here. So now moving on to the payment. So over here, I will be entering the dummy details. So the card number will be one 
and the name on the card will be bogus gateway moving to expiration date that will be 1023 and the security code will be 111 as a dummy security code so now i will click on this pay now to make a payment so now the order is successfully placed you can see the confirmation and you can see that the order is confirmed so now what i will do is i will take you back to my pabli connect account and i will show you the response that is captured over here so let us go back and now over here in the response received you can see at what time it was updated at along with the pricing details scrolling down you can see the product name along with the billing details and the details of the user so that means pabli connect has successfully captured the details of the new order that was placed so as a first step of this automation is done that was to capture the new order details over here in pabli connect so this trigger helps you to capture the response of the new orders instantly so now moving further as a use case was that was to send channel messages in discord whenever a new shopify order is placed so now to do that we will go to this action step and over here in this action window we will be searching over here for discord so here it is and as i did that now i need to select the action event that will be to send channel message html so now i need to connect discord with pabli connect so i have already opened discord in one of my tabs and now i will click on connect so now over here it is asking for a webhook url that will help us to connect our discord account with pabli connect for that i will take you to my discord account over here so now this is the channel i have already created that is by the name of shopify So over here I will click on this and now I will go to server settings and now in server settings on the left hand side you will find integration so I will click on that and in integrations you will find the option of webhooks so I will click on create webhook and now you can see that a new webhook is created I will open it so if you want to give a new name over here you can rename it and over here the selected channel is general so now what I will do is I will simply copy this webhook URL and now i will escape it i will go back to pabli connect and over here i will paste the webhook url so now i have mentioned the webhook url over here so moving on to message over here i need to type the message which i wish to send in my channel so now i will type the message so now over here in message i have entered the message so the message goes as hello team these are the details of new order placed product name customer and email So over here in message you can see that these are the details mentioned over here. I have mapped the details over here that is the product, first name, last name and the email. So why I have used mapping over here because whatever the details you will map in this field these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time. So here I want to send this message to my Discord channel. and while creating this message i have to enter some line element so to enter some line element we have to enter this br tag in braces so over here this br tag actually means that i want to break this line so now i have mentioned br over here so i will be mentioning on some other places as well like here giving a space i will mention it again over here so i have successfully mentioned the line element as well Now moving on to the bot name and bot icon. So, so if you want to mention the bot name, you can. So over here, I am naming it as Shopify. Moving on to bot icon. If you want to add a bot icon, you can do that. And text to speech. So as of now, I don't want to enable it. So I will select it as disable only. And now I will click on the save and send test request to see the response. So over here we have received the response and it is a positive response. So now I will take you to my Discord channel to show you the message. Over here in this channel you can see that the message goes as Hello team these are the details of new order placed. You can see the product that is herbal mask. You can see the name that goes by admin user along with the email that goes by admin11@pablitudes.com. That means over here in my Discord channel the message is sent successfully. So this integration between Shopify and Discord was successful. So now it means that whenever a new order will be placed in my Shopify account, then automatically a message will be sent to my team in Discord. 
So this integration and automation was successful. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.